Welcome back to Smarts and Crafts. This week we sit down with anatomy teacher Megan Murphy to make some magic wands. At the school, what is your, what is your role here? I am the new anatomy teacher here at the high school. Um, next semester I'll be teaching biology as well. Um, but right now I'm just teaching human anatomy, which is really fun. So before like teaching at NHS, where yes. did you work? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I started my teaching career at PVPA the Performing Arts Charter School in South Hadley. I taught science there for three years. I then moved to Turner's Falls High School in Montague, where I taught for two years, and now I'm here. What are some of your hobbies? Oh gosh. Um, I was really involved with music and theater when I was in high school and college. Um, and I, as of late, have taken up Dungeons and Dragons with some of my housemates, which was really fun. That was our quarantine hobby. It's all about balance. Do you have any pets? <gasps> I have lots of pets, yes. I have Willow, my hound mix dog. Um, she's very cute. And I have my cat Goose, who is a little black and white, little tuxedo cat. He's very cute. How did you get into um, teaching sciences? Ooh. Like, how did you get into it? Okay, so that's a really good question. I mentioned that in high school I was really into theater and music and for a while I thought I wanted to go to school for musical theater um, but I ended up in 10th grade taking biology uh, with Mrs. O'Connor who was my bio teacher and she was just the coolest human and made me feel really smart and like good at science which was one of the first times I really felt like in an academic class that I was good at something um, and you know when you're getting ready to think about college and you haven't really felt super exceptional at a subject before does that make sense like when a teacher made you feel smart it was really impactful for me so I kind of decided in 10th grade that I wanted to study biology and teach science so that you know maybe other young budding scientists could find their path in my classroom and if I could help a student realize that they were good at science and that science was really cool, that just sounded really exciting to me. So I got my undergraduate degree in biology and then started teaching. So what are you like listening to or reading right now? Oh my Podcasts, gosh. Songs, bands. Okay, I'm reading A Court of Roses, A Court of Thorns and Roses. I almost brought it to you to see if you would read it because it gives me high fantasy energy, which I think you would appreciate. I feel like reading is hard. It is hard, especially when you do school, and I don't think enough people talk about how sad it is that reading for leisure is not necessarily as big of a hobby as it used to be, because everyone gets like worked out at school, and then they come home and don't necessarily want to read. And that's true for the adults, too. I fall into that trap all the time, and it's a bummer. Thank you so much for sitting down with us. We had a lovely time. And make sure to DM the NHS Transcript Instagram with people who you want to be interviewed next.